All right, hey there, here's just a really quick overview of routing in Svelte. So you've got four options as I see it. There's more options, but these are kind of the main four that are in my mind. So there's Svelte routing, SPA routing, SAPR, Routify. So Svelte routing is a declarative routing, and this is similar to React Router. It's also kind of like kind of the default, what people think of as like the Svelte router that is similar to React. Okay, so one of the disadvantages that I have here is that it needs a server. So I don't for the longest time I didn't even quite realize how this worked, and you've got to like set up a server, um, something like this, and um, then you can do the routing. And to me, that's kind of a pain. Um, you might as well just have like server side routing, I think, if you're going to do that anyway. But uh, that is one option. Svelte routing is most similar to React. Okay, so Svelte SPA router. This one I have a lot of disadvantages, but the nice thing about it is that it's super simple. You don't need to set up a server or anything. Um, Oops. Basically, it uses hash routing, so your routes here it is. Your routes aren't going to be like slash slash. They're going to like use a something like this and have your routes off of this. So the bad thing about this is that it's bad for SEO and it's kind of a hacky solution. Like routing isn't really meant to be done this way. And it's not very crawlable. So you don't really want to use this for something that is like a production app uh, that you want people to access from Google or whatever. Um, it's more like something internal to your organization or your company or if it's just like a website for you and your friends or something you could use this or if it's behind a paywall okay sapper so this is like the official um i don't know what to call it it's like the next js of svelte that's what people what people call it this gives you routing it also gives you a bunch of other things um and this is kind of like the official uh app builder for svelte okay so the nice thing that i like about a sapper is you can use the server if you want you can also do it as a static site without a server, just npm run export, pretty pretty easy, lots of features. Um, so i do that again. Some disadvantages when I've used it, some slow build times, and it's not very maintained. I guess it is still being maintained, but um, it's not as actively maintained as this next one, which is Routify. So Routify is pretty similar to Sapper. You can see they both say file routing plus more. So they both use a different type of routing, which is, um, let's see, I've got a Routify project open here. And basically, uh, here in your source, you're going to have your pages. And these your folder structure, structure is going to decide what the routes are. So index is just slash. And then whatever you name something will be like slash dash. OK, so this is different than what people are used to with React and stuff. OK, so Routify has lots of features. I can't even, it's almost overwhelming how many features it has. Um, you can use it without a server. And there's a whole team working on it. So the only disadvantage I have here is it's still new. Some of the documentation um, feels a bit, you know, kind of overwhelming. But you know, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that you can do here. There's like, um, you know, you can do server side rendering. You can do there's like transitions, layouts, um, a lot of stuff that Sapper doesn't have. But they're pretty. They feel fairly similar. It's kind of hard to tell like what is the difference. When do I use one versus the other? You'll just maybe have to try both of them and figure it out. But Routify is fairly new and something I would definitely recommend looking into. It comes with a template that lets you easily deploy to now or to Netlify. With just a few commands, you can like start it and deploy it. Anyway, that's Redify. I'll try to make a video about that. OK, so when to use each? Svelte routing, really, I'm, I'm actually not sure. Please leave in the comments when you would use Svelte routing, this kind of like declarative thing, declarative routing. I don't know when people like to use this. Um, I would say. The nice thing about this is if you've already started a project and you want to add routing to it, then this is easier to drop in than something like SAP or Routify. Okay, this one, so if you have an app behind a login or it's like an internal organization app, uh, this is a good one. It's just simple. You know, you're not trying to make a, an app for production that is going to like bring in users from all over or whatever. It's just, okay, and then SAP and Routify, again, fairly similar. There's probably, there's much, like a lot of nuance that I don't understand. But um, I've just put production apps when using a node server. So Sapper will give you like a, a node server and kind of a way to make APIs like get and post and stuff like this. Routify is more for just front end. Um, and then you can, you know, separately make your own node server. But it has lots of features that you might want that Sapper doesn't. So they just there's a lot of overlap, but there's a lot of differences as well. OK, so I think that's it. Let me know in the comments. You know, this is not definitive. Um, guide to routing. There's lots of stuff that I didn't mention, and you might have different opinions than I do. So please leave messages in the comments. I'll try to make a video on these different routing options in the future. Okay, bye.